Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be going through my round seven tips and um, going through my round six uh, calls and, well, what happened in the round. So let's get into it. So first game of the round, GWS vs St Kilda at Manuka. Saints got the job done. I got that tip correct. And Gresham and Higgins to combine for 50 touches and four goals. Higgins got the goals for me, but unfortunately, they both had a pretty rough night with possessions. So, next we have Western Bulldogs versus Adelaide. Uh, Adelaide got the upset win by one point. And uh, my big call was for the Dogs to get 25 scoring shots or more. And that definitely did not happen. It was a low scoring game. The complete opposite was I thought it would be. Um, next, we have Port Adelaide versus West Coast. Port Adelaide smashed just like I predicted, which is a pretty good tip. Next, I uh, predicted Port Adelaide to have um, 10 or more goals in the second half, being a very, very big call. But it was actually correct. I'm actually super surprised I got this one right, seeming this was probably the first or second biggest call I had. Next, we have Fremantle versus Colton. Fremantle got the Chockeys over the Blues quite comfortably in the end. Um, my big call was originally Cripps, Walsh and... Kennedy, then I saw Kennedy was injured, so I changed it to Chera, and they got 100 touches, and Cripps got the goals for me, so I've got two corrects so far for the big goals, not not bad. Next, we have North Melbourne versus Geelong. This was a smashing by Geelong, I was not expecting this to happen. North Melbourne played, played really poorly, and Jeremy Cameron had a day out, so yeah, I only tipped them by 8, and they won by 60, so it's big, big, big deficit. The ruse, my big call was for the ruse to lead sometime in the game for 15 minutes or more. And they did not even lead in this game, so that's really poor. Next, we have Suns versus uh, Brisbane Lions. Uh, Brisbane Lions got the job done quite comfortably. Um, in the end, uh, the Gold Coast were in it for a bit, but then just didn't really in it. But they did kick those goals, so the Suns have a goal this quarter was incorrect. And the Lions have a five-goal blitz in it where they had four, I think. So that's... Not quite right. Next, we have Richmond versus Melbourne. And, um, well, Melbourne won quite comfortably in the end. Uh, they probably should have won it by more. They missed a lot. and Yeah, uh, my big call was for Melbourne to kick five or more goals in the final corner, and they only got one. They were pretty poor in that last term. Uh, next, we have uh, Hawthorne versus Sydney on Anzac Day, which is, well, today. Happy Anzac Day to you guys. And Well, Sydney smashed... In the end, and they came back and probably shouldn't have won the game by as much as they did, but they were very impressive in that last quarter. And my big call was for Lewis, Heaney, and Gunston to combine for seven goals. And that did not happen. They combined for two. Look, I don't think Lewis was even playing in that game. I didn't see much of him. And next, the result just came in about maybe like 11 minutes ago. But I'm really stoked with the boys' performance over the Bombers getting the chocolates by 11 points. In an Anzac Day thriller. And my big call was for the Bombers to win the disposal count by 35 or more. And while that happened, they won it by like 57 or something. They were very good with possession. Just didn't didn't control the footy enough to win it. So in the end, I managed to get a 6 out of 9 tips. And 3 out of 9 big call. So probably the best week I think I've ever had. Except maybe from round 1. So I'm pretty happy that next so here's round seven i believe i think it's round seven i mean oh, i'm not 100 percent sure but it could be round seven yeah i think it's round seven i mean it has to be round seven yeah next so the first game of the round is west coast versus richmond Sorry about that, I was just getting it up. Um, I think the Eagles will do better. Seeming what they did against Port Adelaide was pretty shaming. And Richmond don't have a great record at Optus Stadium. They played okay against the Ds. I think this game will be pretty close. I, um, You know what, I'll go for something a bit different. I reckon Richmond will win the game by 14 points. And my big call for the Eagles to come back for from eight goals down and still lose the game. That would be my big call, make it a little bit different. Next, we've got Geelong versus Fremantle. So this should be a pretty 
big game for Fremantle. Jordan Clark against his former team down at GMBA. Should be a good game, I think. It will either be a smashing or a close one. Geelong should be able to win. I can see Fremantle giving a crack, seeming they did beat Colton quite impressively. Probably, probably the win of the round, I'd say. If not, it'd probably have to go to, well, maybe the Saints or the Crows. Um, but yeah, I think I think Geelong can win this game by 39 points in a bit of a smashing. And Geelong to win the disposal count by over 55. I think they'll smash them in disposals, clearances, tackles and goals. So, um, next we have Adelaide versus GWS and Adelaide Oval. This one could be close. This could... You know what? I reckon Adelaide, they're in great form. Tex Walker's booting goals, and their last two games have been really good against Richmond and Western Bulldogs. I don't see GWS doing well. I mean, losing games now to the to the Ds and the Saints. Um, I do have Toby Green back, though, so I do think this would be close. But I think Adelaide can get the job done by three goals, so 18 points, and Walker to kick four or more goals for my big call. I think he can get that done at a late oval. Next is Melbourne versus Hawthorne. This could be another good game. Then again, it could be a smashing. I think Melbourne would just... They're just happy winning these games by a 30-odd against these medium-odd teams. Um, I think they can win the game by 27 points over the Hawks, who probably should have should have uh, won that game against Sydney. Well, maybe not win, but they were definitely the better side for the majority of the game. And um, Melbourne have just been amazing this year. I don't see them dropping these games. 27-point win, Melbourne. And Hawthorne to use their medical sub in the game. Seeming, I don't think they've used it in the past two, three weeks. So, yeah. Next, we've got Colton versus North Melbourne. Um, this is going to be a smashing. I can tell already. North Melbourne have a lot to prove. I think Colton are going to be hungry for a big win after a shocking loss to Fremantle. I think they'll be hungry enough. I think even with that pinternet, I think they'll win this game by 47 points and North Melbourne to kick eight or goals less. I think North Melbourne will kick a low score yet again. Next, we have Saints versus Port Adelaide at uh, Kazali Stadium. This could be the game of the round. You saw St Kilda... Heartbreakingly lost to Adelaide here in the night game on Saturday last year. Not that long ago. Sure, that would have ruined Cardi's, Cardi's weekend quite a bit. And Port Adelaide coming off a big win over West Coast. They'd be predicted to to get close at least. And I think it would be pretty close. Um, St Kilda, they've just got a demonic forward line. Even with the ACL injury to Jack Hayes. I think they can win this game by 11 points. And my big call, Gray and Higgins. Higgins has been on fire. He's going for Australian this year. And they'll combine for five goals in this game. Next, we have Collingwood versus Gold Coast. I'll be streaming this game. So, yeah, there could be maybe a little bit of swearing if I do get pissed off. If Gold Coast do play well. But I reckon I can back us in getting our fourth win of the season. I do not see Gold Coast challenging us much at MCG. I think there'll be a bit of fight at the end to get through it. I think we'll have a good lead and then maybe lose a lead a bit. I reckon we'll win it by 19 points. And Charles and Kasbolt to combine for six goals. I think they can get this done. Maybe three each. I reckon they can get it done. Next is Western Bulldogs versus Essendon. Last year was game of the round and Essendon got up in the home and away game. And this game could be a good one. Western Bulldogs are in desperate need of a win. They're sitting two on four on the table, and they just have to get a win now. It's it's do or die stuff if they want to get that top four, let alone the finals. They need to get their players rocking, and Essendon haven't had the best couple of weeks. They need to get up as well. Next, we have, so I reckon Western Bulldogs can win by seven points in this game against Essendon. I do not think Essendon will be as good to challenge the Dogs. But I still think they'll win it by seven points. And Peter Wright to kick six or more goals. Next, we have uh, Sydney versus Brisbane for the game of the round. This could be a good game at the SCG. I can see it being pretty close. Brisbane have got to get these wins. I reckon they can win it by 16 points. And the Lions lead it for the entire game as my big call. 
I do not think Sydney will um, get the lead in this one. But, yeah, you never know. So, thanks for listening to my um, review for this week. And, well, for my tips for next week. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy the footy round. And, yeah, hopefully the Pies can get the job done against the struggling Suns at the moment.